السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل میرا نام ہے آصف علی کیسے ہیں آپ سب لوگ امید کرتا ہوں آپ سب لوگ خیریت سے ہوں گے تو آج جس ویڈیو پہ ہم ریکشن دینے جا رہے ہیں اس کا ٹائٹل ہے ففٹی ایئر اسٹوری آف رائزنگ بنگلہ دیش تو گائز بنگلہ دیش آج سے تقریباً پچاس سال پہلے ہم سے سیپریٹ ہوا تھا اور آزاد ہوا تھا اور اس میں بتایا جائے گا کہ بنگلہ دیش نے کس طرح سے ان پچاس سالوں میں اپنے آپ کو اپ لفٹ کیا ہے اور آج بنگلہ دیش جو ہے ایشیا کی فاسٹیسٹ گروئنگ اکانومیز میں شامل ہو چکا ہے تو اس سے پہلے گائز ایک ریکویسٹ ہے اگر آپ میرے چینل پہ ہیں تو چینل کو سبسکرائب کر لیں اور بیل آئیکن کو دبا دیں تو چلیں ریاشن کو سٹارٹ کرتے ہیں From a war-torn ravaged nation on the brink to launching its own satellite in under 50 years, Bangladesh is the story of a nation that has pulled itself up from the ground to shoot for the very stars. The fire sparked by the vision of Bangabundhu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the father of the nation, united a country of a diverse people and creed in 1971 and continues to shine the path towards the country's future. Today, under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh has adopted a long-term plan to transform the country into a knowledge-based middle-income economy by 2021. It also aspires to become a developed country by 2041 modeled after Bangabundhu's dream of a Shonar Bangla or Golden Bengal. Bangladesh has worked towards development from within, achieving, often ahead of time, all the Millennium Development Goals. Drawing inspiration from its success, the country is currently implementing the Sustainable Development Goals. 50% fewer people in Bangladesh live under the poverty line today than they did even 16 years ago. In the last 40 years, Bangladesh dramatically increased its food grain production, becoming the fourth largest producer of rice in the world and the fifth largest producer of fish. 2016 marks the second consecutive year that the World Economic Forum ranked Bangladesh first in gender equality amongst South Asian nations. Wow. The same year, adult literacy in the country rose to a 12-year high, while net enrollment at primary schools jumped to over 98%. 98 Life expectancy in Bangladesh is currently at 71.5 years, while infant and maternal mortality have both been significantly reduced. Since 2009, 14,000 community clinics have brought healthcare access door-to-door. -door. Bangladesh has fulfilled all three criteria for graduation from LDC status this year and currently meets World Bank classification for middle-income status. Oh, yeah. On the diplomatic front, it follows a policy of friendship to all and malice towards none. For three decades running, Bangladesh has been one of the biggest contributors to UN peacekeeping missions across the globe. From an agrarian economy in the 1970s, the Bangladeshi economy today is led by an export-oriented industrialization. The country oh, yeah. is now the second largest exporter of ready-made garments in the world. Second largest exporter of ready-made garments in the world. To keep up with the pace of the country's development, Bangladesh has embarked on constructing a number of mega-infrastructural projects. Bangladesh's largest bridge, the Pogda Bridge, bridge. is being built entirely wow. with the country's own resources. It is projected to transform the lives of 30 million Bangladeshis to increase trade and connectivity. Bangladesh's Connect first nuclear power plant in Rupur is set to power 2.4 million homes by 2024. Since 2003, more than 4 million solar home systems have been installed nationwide. Bangladesh has the highest number of these solar home systems in the world. Since 2009, power generation has increased almost four times from under 5,000 megawatt to currently over 16,000 megawatt. Oh, yeah. 
the country's first deep sea port set to open in Paira by 2030 is poised to considerably boost trade volume. Simultaneously, the Dhaka Metro Rail will ease congestion and pollution in the capital, carrying 60,000 passengers per hour. And with over 5,000 grassroots level union digital centers delivering 6 million e-services a month, public services have been brought to every doorstep in rural Bangladesh. To boost foreign and local investments in the ICT industry, the country is also setting up 12 high-tech IT parks in 12 separate districts, aiming to raise ICT export to 5 billion US dollars by 2021 and create 10 million jobs. 10 million jobs. Additionally, more than 100 special economic zones by 2030 seek to create a further 10 million jobs and churn out products and services worth 4 billion US dollars. In 2016, Bangladesh was the second fastest growing major economy in the world. It was the sixth year that GDP growth was greater than 6% and the momentum continued with 7.28% growth in 2017. Bangladesh has been named one of the next 11 countries having a high potential to become among the world's largest economies in the 21st century. A land of fertile soil and fertile possibilities. Bangladesh has leaped beyond what was once thought to be its potential. A country that is younger than 50 is about to enter the space age with the launch of its very first satellite, the Bangabundu One satellite. Bangladesh's incredible growth and development is increasingly being acknowledged and lauded around the world, garnering praise from world leaders in many different forums. Despite all that has been achieved, Bangladesh is not resting. Under the leadership of Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh has bold and ambitious plans to reach even greater heights. Guided by Bangabundu's vision of a Shonar Bangla or Golden Bengal, the future is bright for this youthful and energetic nation reaching for the very stars. Zabardast hai yaar, kis tarha se Bangladesh ne apne aap ko uplift kiya hai. Koi aap sector utha lein, health sector utha lein, IT sector utha lein, import export utha lein, economy utha lein. Har sector mein Bangladesh positive kaam kar raha hai aur aage ki taraf ja raha hai. और सबसे जो अच्छी बात मुझे लगी है कि 10 मिलियन जॉब्स ठीक है एक प्रोजेक्ट से होंगी उसके बाद नेक्स्ट जो होगा उससे 10 मिलियन जॉब्स तो कितनी ज्यादा जॉब क्रिएशन होगी 2041 तक बांग्लादेश जो दुनिया की फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग इकॉनमीज हैं और बड़ी इकॉनमीज हैं उनमें शामिल हो जाएगा और करोड़ों जॉब्स क्रिएट होंगी और ये कितना अच्छा है इस कंट्री के लिए यार तो नो डाउट बांग्लादेश की عوام और बांग्लादेश की गवर्नमेंट को इसका क्रेडिट जाता है कि किस तरह से वो ग्रो हुए हैं ठीक है एक नीचे ग्राउंड लेवल से वो आके और एशिया की फास्टेस्ट इकॉनमी 2017 में 7% से वो ग्रो कर रहे हैं जो पाकिस्तान इंडिया और बहुत सी कंट्री से काफी आगे हैं गाइस अगर वीडियो अच्छी लगी है वीडियो को लाइक करो अगर चैनल पर नहीं हो तो सब्सक्राइब कर लो और बेल आइकन दबा दो आज के लिए इतना ही मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में टिल देन अल्लाह हाफ़